if anyone really knows me, they know that I am very social and I'm happy and I love to be around people and I love to get together and I love to have fun and I love to be happy and I am not being myself anymore. I've actually had my family try to reach out to me and I'm like avoiding everybody, all the people that I love, I'm just avoiding them. I'm hiding so that I can be invisible. I am not being kind to myself. About a year ago, I was looking into being a life coach and I was given the assignment to ask people like what my good qualities are. I had um, so many responses and I was just filled with so much gratitude. And I'm realizing now, looking through the list, that all of them are still true, whether I'm fat or I'm skinny. They don't, they don't change who I am. The things that I'm good at don't change, you know, with the size of my body. What changes is how I feel about myself and whether I feel like I deserve it or not, whether I feel like I deserve to be seen. And right now I am doing the opposite of what I need to do. And so I've decided that I'm, I'm not gonna hide anymore. Today is Halloween and I, I, you know, decided to get up and do my makeup and do my hair. Why am I not getting out and doing things like I normally would do instead of isolating? I've never ever been so isolated and depressed as I have been this past two months. It's been really, really bad. And ever since I started losing hope for things to change in my life, I started gaining weight. I just gave up on all the things that I wanted to do. I wanted to be a life coach. I was singing more. I was actually taking some singing lessons and I haven't sang. I don't even remember the last time I sang. I had somebody ask me, to sing and I, I, I turned them down a couple of different times and it's not like me. Like that's not, I love to perform, especially in church. And I was watching the This Is Us show. I love it because it shows Kate and her battle with obesity and the pain, the internal pain that it, that it causes her. Very, very true. It's very nice to know that I'm not alone in how I feel. I'm not serving myself by isolating. I am doing the opposite and I'm not gonna do it anymore. I've lost and gained weight a lot of times throughout my life. I don't have to be like this. I don't have to feel this way. I know how to take care of my body, but first I gotta take care of my spirit and I gotta feel like I'm worth it. And I gotta remember all of those things that I'm good at and that I, that are good qualities of me and stop judging myself on based solely on what I look like. When I was at the school today, I saw a couple of people and they just came up to me and talked to me like I'm a normal person. Like, hello, I'm a normal person. They still love me. It's, it's me. I'm the one that's not loving myself. And it's just so crazy how much pressure I put on myself to to be a certain person so that other people look at me in a certain way and they, I mean, they probably have a judgment just because they see me and they notice, but it doesn't mean that they love me less. Like, why am I loving me less? Because I look bigger. It's just, it's so insane because the pattern just makes it so that I want to continue to eat and continue. It's like the weight is a, is a cover up for for who I am, like it's just covering me so that I, I can just disappear and, and just just disappear into the world so nobody can see me anymore. I don't wanna hide anymore. So tonight is Halloween and I honestly wanted to stay home and just sit and let my husband take my son trick or treating because we always go in this neighborhood that I grew up in and I was just like, I don't wanna see anyone. And today I'm I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just, I'm gonna hold my head up high and I'm gonna say, it doesn't matter. There, People can love me or they don't have to love me, it doesn't matter, but it's important that I hold my head up and I am proud of who I am, no matter what body I'm in. So that's my commitment today. I'm going to really work hard on on being okay about being seen and make sure that I 
stay true to who I am and stay true to to my myself because I am not this person. I there are people that love to be home and love to be alone and that's not me. And I don't want to be held back by that anymore. And maybe that's the first step for me healing and there's some good things that are happening with my my husband and I. We're starting to get into a better place and um I do know that every single time that he and I go through really, really hard sh struggles and trials, something amazing happens and we grow closer together and our kids grow closer to, to us and our family strengthens. And I know that this is not going to be any different than that. So I just got to keep moving forward and I got to stop numbing out. And it's so hard for me. This may always be hard for me. But I guess that's why I'm documenting this because as much as I hate this about myself, I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. We ha they have this, you know, this is us talk talking about the same thing, the obesity. Like you hardly, you know, get to see the effects of that on people. Um, but it's big. It's, it's. It's not an easy life. And it, as much as it feels like we choose it, we do choose it. But in a way, it's it's the only way we cope. So we got to figure out new ways to cope. Anyways, I hope you all have a good Halloween.